Now for putting your signatures in, sewing your signatures, you do need a couple of basic supplies. Um, you need some sort of thread. This is just a heavy cotton thread. Um, I often use crochet cotton, thin crochet cotton. Um, you can use a heavy thread. Um, uh, some people use like a, a waxed linen thread that that is specially uh, made for that. But any kind of heavy thread um, to begin with that will fit through the eye of a needle will work. So I'm just going to use that. This one I actually I think picked up from a thrift store. Thrift stores can be your best friend um, when you're a junk journaler. Um, then I have a needle and I need a needle with a large enough eye that I can thread my my thread through. So it doesn't have to be a certain, you know, size or width. You don't want it too wide, um, you know, super thick, but you do need it to be thick enough to get your thread through. So whatever you have, um, you can, if you don't have anything like that, I'm sure you can find these at the dollar store. And I'm sure you can find some heavy thread at the dollar store as well if you need to purchase something. Um, a ruler and a pencil is helpful. I don't always use a ruler for this purpose, but I'm sure you have a ruler around and a pencil. Um, I need a scissor. Um, this is optional. Um, this is uh, um, called an awl, A-W-L. And um, we often refer to this as a pokey tool. And it just has a sharp um, end on it. It's not, I mean, super sharp, but it's fairly, I mean, it's pointy. Um, this is an older one. I have, um, this one is a new, a new one that I purchased, a set of two. This is a really old antique one that my husband found in our old garage. So I like that one too. Um, but you can, if you have something like that, um, that is helpful. But if you don't, you can just use your um, needle to poke some holes. This is just for poking holes. Um, and then the other thing that I like to have is some kind of big um, book that I can, I can just use as kind of a um, something to poke into and it's it's helpful to, to have a book because then you have um, this crease which can help you but if you don't have a you know a foam book or something like that um, you can use a piece of foam and and you could probably do it without anything but this is just it's kind of helpful to have it doesn't have to be a foam book it can be uh, you want maybe a little bit bigger book but it could be uh, an old atlas it could be you know just something something bigger with you know, cheap uh, pages, whatever you have. So let's get started with that. So we have all of our pages folded inside each other. So they're all nested inside each other and we're gonna nest that inside of our cover. So that should all fit perfectly. Depending on um, how many pages you have, sometimes they can stick out a little bit. That doesn't bother me at all. There, some some people trim that off, but sometimes it can get messier when you trim it off than if you don't. So I'm just going to leave it on. So the first thing I want to do is open up to the center, and I want to mark a couple of markings um, with my pencil and ruler. And um, hopefully you can see the crease there on the camera. So my paper is eight and a half this way. So half of eight and a half is four and a quarter. I'm just going to make a little mark at four and a quarter right along that crease line. Then I'm going to make another mark at one inch from the top or one inch in from the side and I'm going to make another mark one inch in from the other side. So now I have one inch and a mark, one inch and a mark, and a mark in the center. So those are our three marks that we're going to, to make um, uh, holes. Sometimes people use, there's many, many different ways of binding actually, um, but three hole, it's called a three hole pamphlet stitch. And another real common one is a five hole pamphlet stitch, but we're gonna do a three hole pamphlet stitch. So 
put your your book into the crease of your foam book or whatever you have that's why it's handy to have that because it just lies in there all the pages just line up really really nicely if you have some kind of pokey tool put it right on the crease where you marked your pencil mark and press it in right through so that you can have it coming through on the outside there if you don't have that you can use a needle and you can just poke that in I'm gonna use my pokey tool because I'm afraid I'm gonna go through my nail or something if I do that but you can use a needle if you're careful so you want three holes one two three then you can put your phone book away that's all we need that for then we need some thread and we need generally from two and a half to three times the height of our book so let's just do three times and we have a little extra if we need it so that's one two three and cut that off So then we have our piece of thread and then we need to thread it onto our needle. This might be the hardest part of the whole of the whole journal. Threading needles. That one wasn't too bad. So make sure you have a long tail and a shorter tail. Not too short. You don't want it to come through. And then we're going to um, put our needle through the center hole and out the back and pull it and then I usually just um, put my finger on here so that it doesn't um, come through because if I pull this too far this is actually going to come right through the hole and I'm going to lose it right I'll usually put my thumb here but you can also have like a binder clip or a bulldog clip and just put it um, kind of to the side here put that clip on that um, end and then you're not going to lose it so I'll do that as well okay so then back to the outside we have our thread on the outside then go in through the top so find out where your hole is that we made in the top and poke it in sometimes you might have to Kind of fiddle around to find the hole especially if your if your pages have moved a little bit and then come in to the inside of the book then you go all the way to the top or to the bottom rather i guess that's the bottom all the way to the bottom and go out through that hole you can watch this over and over if you you know if you're uh, just watch it slowly and, and do one step at a time. So in through the bottom to the outside again. And then lastly, from the outside, we want to go back in through the middle hole, the same hole that we started with. So we poke our needle in there and we come in through there. Then we can take the thread off the needle. We're done with the needle. And then we have two two loose threads in the middle of our book. So the first thing I do is sometimes I try to even them out a little bit. This I'm not going to worry about it because I have a long enough tail here anyways. That's why it's good to have a little bit extra. And you have this um, loose string in the middle and we want one string on the right side and one string on the left side of that middle. And then I um, kind of straighten them this way with my two hands and give it a good tug not too much to rip the paper but you want it pretty taut then I just kind of um, hold this those two ends close here and just make sure that those are you know they sound tight make sure there's not you know big loops here sometimes that happens you want them to be fairly tight go back inside and then you just want to tie a knot around that middle string. So one, two. Fairly tight, but you don't want to break your thread. 
And then you can just trim off those two edges and you can get rid of that. And guess what? You now have a journal. So there's our cover. And here are all our pages sewn into the journal. If you're a little crooked and it didn't work so great, this is your first journal, so don't worry about it. Isn't that cool? So we have our own book. So take a little break and enjoy that.